Hey everybody, it's Pescador here. I'm out here at one of the parking lots that I've been hunting and uh, pretty much hunted most of it. But I thought I'd come out today because this place is so full of bottle caps. Uh, thought I'd come out and do kind of a little tutorial on how to identify the bottle caps with the Treasure Pro. Uh, it uh, has a tendency to ID them like dimes or like quarters, especially quarters. But uh, if you know how to discriminate between them and uh, a true quarter, well then you can do pretty good at separating them out. But anyway, here's a look at what I've been hunting just to give you an idea. This parking lot is for uh, tubers that come down to tube the river and they rent tubes here. And uh, then this is the parking area, which leaves a lot of change. I found probably, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 bucks so far in this uh, parking lot. But I'm gonna hunt a little different area today and uh, see if we can't give you a little idea how those bottle caps ID. Okay, to the next. Okay, folks. Here's the first example I'm going to give you. So you can see that's a pretty good quarter signal right there, 82, 83. Um, my quarters range up to 85, 86 on this particular machine. But uh, most Treasure Pros, 83, 82, pretty good targets uh, for a quarter. And uh, you can see as I sweep across this it's fairly steady but if I go the other direction then it starts fluctuating when you get that 10 digit jump or uh, five even five six digit jump um, it's pretty much gonna be junk and uh, I'm gonna dig this up just to show you but uh, see I'm getting pretty good 83 84 but uh, it's only it's actually only about an inch and a half deep, so this will be easy. But uh, give you an idea of what I'm talking about. I feel fairly confident this is going to be a bottle cap. We'll see. That's real shallow. And there it is. It was not far off the top of the ground, but there's your bottle cap. Jumpy signal. Just like I said, and there this place is literally packed with these things. And so I've had to kind of learn how to get away from them. But uh, there's one example. Try to go to the next. Okay, well, you're going to get these signals with the Treasure Pro. And uh, looks like a quarter or a dime. And it just almost, from the sound of it, sounds pretty, uh, pretty good. It's just almost big. To dig me but uh, you just got to be careful because or you got to watch them because whenever it jumps down 79 and then up to 82 83 I can get 84 sometimes I can get an 85 out of it but it's another real shallow target but pretty sure Pretty sure it's going to be another bottle cap, but I'm going to dig it just to give you another example of what I'm talking about. Another way people discriminate these is to get them on the edge. And you'll notice that, uh, let me get back here where you can see the screen. You'll notice that when I bring the coil back, get it right in the center if I can. And I bring the coil back, and right there on that edge, see it jumping down real low? It goes from like 82 to 67. 84, 
82 to, or to 74. It, and then there was a 20 in there. When it jumps down like that, more than likely, that uh, that's the way some people discriminate these things out. Um, I personally can tell most of the time from just the jumpiness of the signal, if it moves more than five or six numbers, then uh, it's probably gonna be a bottle cap. But I'm gonna dig this one just to show you what I'm talking about. Give me another shallow signal, so I should be able to hit it my pin pointer. Yep, right there. There's the bottle cap. So as you can see, it jumps, the numbers jump around quite a bit. And uh, if it's jumping five, six digits when you're going across it, it's more than likely junk. And uh, you can also use that pullback method, which I'm not real good at, I'll admit that. But uh, a lot of people do use that pullback method and, work, and it works for them. Personally, I just kind of rely on my ears and on uh, the uh, signal that I see on the display. But uh, to the next. Okay, I've got another signal here. Uh, this is more like what a quarter is actually going to look like. 85, and it is solid. 85, 86. There's not much fluctuation in that target there. We'll dig this one, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be a quarter. About one and a half inches to two inches deep. Solid 85, 86. That's going to be a quarter right there. pinpointer will pick up this particular pinpointer is not really known for its depth but it works pretty good as a pinpointer oh there it is right there I missed, missed my uh, yeah I missed my pinpointer a little bit but there it is there's the quarter and like I said, it's just such a different signal that you pretty much know, especially on these shallow ones, that it's uh, pretty much going to be a quarter. Now, I will say, if I pinpoint that target at four or five inches deep, something like that, and it's jumping around a little bit, I'm going to more than likely dig it because... Uh, with the deeper targets you're going to get a little bit more variance in your uh, display and uh, especially with these intermediate detectors uh, this detector is deep enough for me but uh, honestly uh, a dime any more than I would imagine about seven or eight inches is probably pushing the limits of the detector uh, in the ground It'll air test a little better than that, but uh, it's probably going to be limited in the ground to about that. But if so, if I get one that's four or five inches deep and it's jumping around a few numbers, I'll go ahead and jump and dig it because a lot of times that'll be deep, deep coin or deeper coins and uh, maybe even a silver coin. So, to the, we've got a pretty good nickel signal here 25, 24. It is jumping a little bit, which may be a tab, but uh, 
if I get it right in the center of the target, it's hitting 25, 26. Showing about an inch and a half deep. I'm gonna go ahead and dig it. It may be a pull tab, but I'm gonna go ahead and dig it. Nickels pretty much with my machine uh, will hit 24 and jump to 25 or 25 and jump down to 24. Uh, pretty much get that signal. Uh, pretty good idea it's going to be a nickel. This one was jumping around a little bit more than that, so it may be a, may be a tab. We'll see. Oh, nope. There it is right there. Actually, it was a nickel, so I was right. There's your nickel. Like I said, if it's 24, 25, jumping between those two numbers, it's pretty close. That one had a little junk around it, so it's kind of hard to tell. But it's a uh, 24 to 25 is a pretty good signal that on my on my particular machine that nickel's pretty good. I dug several nickels the other day when I was out here. And uh, I've been doing pretty good with nickels. To okay, folks, I got another pretty good nickel signal here. Now I'm running in uh, high trash mode and also running uh, four tones, which will give you a high tone on all coins, uh, including a nickel. So you can see there I'm getting a high tone. 25, 24, 25, 24. Usually, pretty reliably, those are nickels. So we'll dig it and see. But usually, pretty good indication of a nickel right there, 24, 25. Yep, and there it is. There's another nickel. If you're struggling with nickels on the Treasure Pro, look for that 24-25 or and with some coils it may be a little lower, but I find with this double D on both or the Treasure Pros that I've had, I actually had I think three of them. But on the Treasure Pros that I've had, the uh, double D coil, the 10 inch stock coil, uh, numbers will run a little higher than they will using some of the nail coils or the, uh, I'm not sure about the D-tip coil that I'm getting. I uh, should have one by middle of next month, but I'm getting the D-Tech 6x8 because I've used that on a lot of other machines and they now have it for Treasure Pro so I'm going to jump on it because it's a really good has been a really good coil for me with other machines and I probably lose maybe a little bit of inch or so or depth but it's not really a big concern for me so to the next and for those of you that like to hunt zinc pennies I will dig them especially if I'm working for an area where there might be some big class rings or gold rings like a beach something like that I'll go ahead and dig them but there's a 61 and it's just right on top of the ground 61 is usually 60 61 gonna be a zinc penny so Dig it and show it to you. Oh, 
And there it is. Zinc penny. In good shape. So that's spendable cash. It's good. Uh, a lot of my targets out here, you'll notice, are really, really shallow. Or just right on top of the ground because this place is just flooded in the summer with campers and tubers and they uh they're mostly recent drops uh, i i have dug some coins out here four or five inches deep but haven't dug a lot of deep targets out here to the next i'm gonna go ahead and video this go ahead and video this find here um Just to give you an idea, so there's a good, pretty good dime signal, copper penny signal. But uh, using that pullback method, hopefully you can see the screen. See how it went down to iron. And then foil. I mean, when you get on the edge of that coil, it drops off real good. there I'll go ahead and show you what it is just let you know that it's another way to distinguish those junk signals uh, not always what it appears to be but there's your bottle cap right there you can see it in the dirt Sometimes it'll read a dime, quarter, but um, if you uh, manipulate that coil around a little bit, you can see that jump in numbers, and you'll also get a, um, you can use the pullback method, and when it drops down to low numbers then you on the edge of that coil you pretty much know that that's going to be a bottle cap and you just saw me dig the bottle cap that showed like a dime here is a dime that is a dime here not going to be a bottle cap it's not jumping 76 77 right in that dime range or copper penny but most times 76 77 is come in as a dime we'll see be a copper penny just a memorial but uh, like I said the copper penny and dime signals sometimes pretty get easy to get those mixed up and that's on all detectors pretty much I got a really high number signal here it's about four inches down 93 94 it is bouncing quite a bit, but like I said, I get a really high number, and it's showing to be a little deeper coin. I'll go ahead and dig it. This may be nothing, but I'm not going to take a chance and not digging something that might end up being good. So we'll dig it and see what it is. Kind of an odd number. And there's why. It's, it's a car remote for some kind of car. I don't know what kind, but things you find in a parking lot. 
say. Eh. It says GM. GM L E A R. I don't know what that is, but it's a GM remote. That's why it was giving that high signal. But you never know about stuff like that. I I have dug high numbers like that and come up with big silver rings or something like that. So if it's down there ways like that, I almost always dig those. Too. Okay, folks, here's the wrap-up from today. Hope y'all can see that. We uh, did pretty good for a short hunt. And looks like I got six quarters, about... 13 dimes, nine nickels, and about 13 pennies looks like. So that's not bad for a short hunt. And I didn't show every dig, but I got some good video of hopefully it'll help y'all with your, uh, those of you that use Treasure Pro and maybe beginners and help you with those nasty pull or bottle caps. So until the next time, this is Pescador signing out. Thank you.